Hello and welcome back to The Simple Game Dev. My name is Remy Storms and this is a special episode on speed modeling a ninja mouse part 2. Unwrapping the character. Now the first and I guess most important thing that I would like you guys to know is that in order to have an unwrap, or at least what I do, is always pay attention to my concept art and references. So let's bring up our concept art. Once we have the concept art, uh, it's easier to see where to put those seams. Since the character is pretty simple overall, uh, there's not gonna be a lot of problem uh, um, during the texturing process. I guess the head would be one of the parts uh, that requires uh, that require more attention. The texture is going to be very simple, so I decided to go with a front and back parts of the face. And I'll try to avoid uh, seams as much as possible while texturing this. Another thing that I always try to do is mirror uh, the, the parts that I know uh, are going to be symmetrical, like in this case the ears. Now if your character had like a different um, texture or uh, overall dif different uh, geometry, you couldn't do that. But in this case it's perfectly symmetrical. Uh, almost everywhere except for the hair so I'm just uh, trying to overlap those UVs as nice as possible then I'm adding some seams on the main body and what I, I'm trying to achieve is to keep the main part uh, as a big piece now I'm not too worried about the actual pixel density right now because I just want to get those shapes and uh, in a proper position and I still need to merge the head and, and, and the body so that I can use only one texture. Now once they are merged this is where I can actually start moving things around scaling them up or down depending on what I need but always trying to keep a consistent texture density again mirroring every part that I can and using as much UV space as possible. Now for parts like the eyes I might even give them a little bit more of uh, UV space because sometimes and especially for characters you want some areas to have more details in this case uh, the eyes because that's one of the main focus right? Even though this character is going to be very tiny on screen, I still want to be able to give a nice uh, touch of detail to the eyes. And now it, it seems like I'm, I'm almost done. I'm just uh, moving the last pieces. But I'm not quite happy with the results because I, I'm always trying to use uh, or to have more space, UV space. So never be uh, afraid of just going back and try to get a better use uh, of the texture space. Like what I did here, it was just uh, moving a little bit of the face and scale it up a bit. And just try to reposition some of the pieces so that I can get a nicer, uh, cleaner look. Now the last part is basically start baking some uh, I guess helper maps that I use one of them is just an alpha map which is basically uh, 
the one that will help me select the UV islands. Then after that I select different parts of the body uh, that I know they will have different um, colors or, or and try to use the basic colors. It's not going to be the final texture but it will give me a nice uh, approach for the next part which is texturing it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out my other videos if you're interested in game development or 3D modeling. Please subscribe to stay up to date with new uploads and help support this channel. If you have any questions, feedback or requests, please drop me a line on the comments section, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. My name is Remy Storms and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.